A South Australian-based company will play a key role in the future of space sustainability. Newman Space launched its propulsion system into orbit, a first step towards revolutionising the industry. Two, one, engines full power, and liftoff of Transporter 8. Go Falcon, go Transporter. From the city of churches to outer space, aboard a commercial satellite, a propulsion system designed and built in South Australia. The Newman Drive leaves Earth for the first time. So our system works like the cross between an arc welder and a camera flash. When we strike the arc, we erode a little bit of the propellant here. It becomes a gas, we ionise it into a plasma and it gets accelerated downrange as the exhaust. The recoil from this pushes the spacecraft along. The Newman Drive is a propulsion system like no other. Well, what sets our technology apart is the simplicity of the system. We're using solid metal as propellants, which is completely disruptive on the market. It makes our system extremely safe and simple. As of May, 7,702 active satellites remain in Earth's orbit, along with an alarming amount of space debris, prompting a commitment to space sustainability from world leaders during the 2023 G7 summit. Uh, our technology has two main advantages when it comes to space sustainability. The number one is we can use space debris as propellant, so we help clean up what's already in space. The second one, among all the mobility aspects we can have, is the capability to de-orbit satellites. Here again, contributing to sustainability in space, because we put a new satellite, we do the mission, and then we will move it. Newman Space is a key contributor in a $1.7 million project funded by the US Space Force. The project aims to harvest space debris to be recycled into metal propellant, which can be used by the Newman Drive, creating a circular propulsion ecosystem. This is the culmination of 19 years of work. This is Australian hardware in space. This is Australia joining the handful of nations that have put electric propulsion systems in space. This means that Australian technology, Australian know-how, Australian industry is at the forefront of the future of space technology. Tuesday's launch was one of two in-orbit demonstrations planned for 2023 and a first step towards the Newman Drive, cementing its role in the future of space. Monique van der Hayden, Sky News Adelaide.